Jensen Organist here, and welcome back to another episode of Orgelcraft. Now, some of you might be a little surprised to see me, seeing as how this was supposed to be a one-time thing, but I had a ton of really great comments on the April Fool's video asking for more episodes in this, so I have decided, at least for right now, to keep this series going. So, we are right back here where we left off at the end of the episode in this little overhang here. The first thing I'm going to do is light this area up because every time I stop doing anything over here, I get attacked by mobs. So we're going to do that. The first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to clean up this little um, sign that I made over here and we'll talk about why I've decided to keep this going for right now. Um... And then we will get into the actual project from there. Alright, this should hopefully keep me safe while I'm working. There we go. Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead up here and start bringing this down. A little bit higher. There we go. Okay. So. The first and biggest reason why I've decided to keep this going is you guys asked for it. I had a lot of comments um, on the last episode asking for more videos like this. So, um, yeah, I decided I would keep it going. Um, the, and the second reason that's right on the heels of number one is... Um, I had a lot of fun making that first one. Um, you know, things I said about playing Minecraft and enjoying the game and enjoying watching, um, you know, Let's Plays on YouTube are all true. And so when you couple together with the fact that you guys want to see more of them and I enjoyed making them, I figured I will keep this going. It's, it's not a huge amount of time that I would need to put into this kind of video. Um, you know, I could probably spend a couple hours over the weekend. I'm, I'm not going to be sinking a ton of time into it um, to be able to keep it going. But um, it's just something it'll, it'll be a fun little different project for me to work on. There's that. I have done a little bit uh, since the last episode if you see some different things in my inventory. Alright, there's the top layer. Now we need to go Um, another reason why I've decided to keep this going is it brings a little bit of diversity to the channel. Um, obviously this channel is... Whoa! How did I fall off of that? Oh well. I should have been holding the shift button, which keeps you from falling off things, but obviously I fell off of that. Um... Yes, so the, the third reason is it, it brings some diversity to the channel. You know, my, my goal is to spread organ music to all kinds of new audiences. And, you know, this is, this is a great way for me to continue to bring the organ to different audiences. So the background music is still going to be organ music. Um, my goal eventually is to um is to build some kind of pipe organ in a large cathedral um that's definitely a little bit down the road um from what we're doing right now but you know just something else you know if you know so if you are if you have found this video and um you haven't you know minecraft is what brought you to this channel well then you know go check out some of my other stuff i do lots of covers of organ music of um different things, mainly Disney. Um, if you guys have been around, you know this. And I'm out of pickaxes. Yay! Okay, let's see. What, what do I have in my inventory that I can work with? I have... Um, I don't even have any stone. Alright, we're going back to basics. We're going back to wooden tools. How fun. Let's do that. Good thing I'm prepared. Do not claim to be a professional Minecrafter. And this just got much slower. So, yes. So, something something else that I can offer on the channel, hopefully bring some new people in and, you know, get them over to the, um, get them over to the organ covers and some of the classical music that's on here or some of the behind-the-scenes videos. So, 
Um, yes, so if you were concerned in the last video and didn't watch all the way to the end, um, no, we are not becoming a an entirely Minecraft channel. All the normal content is continuing, and um, I am not going to be I'm not going to be doing these Minecraft videos at the expense of any of the regular stuff. So you will still be doing the weekly videos that are, you know, the various different vlogs, classical music, covers of things, Disney things, not Disney. Um, yes, so the normal, the normal content will continue. This will just be something that is done in addition to it. Um, and I, I do have to mention this because it, it is definitely a real thing. Um, but I can monetize these Let's Play videos, and I don't make a ton of money off of that. I mean, we're, we're literally talking pennies. But, you know, every little bit helps, and if it's, you know, it's a video that I have that I can monetize every week, um, you know, it, it helps me out, it helps keep things going. So... That was mildly terrifying. Sounded like some big plane flying over, and there are no planes in Minecraft unless you build them yourself. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think that has this area cleaned up. Um. So yes. So monetization, good things. Uh. Yeah. I am going to head back to our little base. One of the things that I found when I was kind of scouting around a little bit more is there is a um a dark oak forest off there just in the distance. Um, so I'm going to go get some wood from there, I'm going to get a couple other things, head back to base, and we will get to work on our project for today. So I was almost back to base, and I forgot that as we went out exploring at the end of the last episode, we passed this desert temple, and I thought this would be just as good a time as any to go and check out what this thing has to offer. So, I'm also pretty sure I heard a monster in here, so let's just be careful as we go in. So, a desert temple is one of these structures that generates, and you can find some pretty good loot in here. Now, as you're looking at it, obviously it doesn't look like there's too much here. Um, these couple little hidden passages, I'm going to stick a torch down here so nothing tries to surprise us. But, you'll notice we have these colored blocks in the floor, these are terracotta blocks, and if I were to dig up the one in the center, without standing on top of it, you will notice that there's a little chamber down there. Now, that stone that we see is actually not a stone block, it is a stone pressure plate, and that is a trap laid for anybody who might uh, come and do a little bit of grave robbing. So we are going to work our way down the sides so that we don't accidentally land on that, and I will show you why that is so dangerous when we get down there. So, I'm going to break this from here, nothing to worry about, and my inventory's full, that's fine. So as I dig up the ground, you will see... Kind of hard to see from this angle, so let me do, let's see... Uh, just throw that out of there for a second. We have TNT, yes. Had I stepped on that pressure plate, this would have exploded and blown up me and everything in here. So now let's see what we've got in these chests. Ooh! We got some good stuff here. We have, we don't need this rotten flesh. That can stay up in there. I don't need this uh, pressure plate. I might want to keep that sandstone, but for right now we'll do this. We have gunpowder. That's useful. We have bones, which are good. Uh, I don't need these eggs. I want those blocks. We have diamonds. Not enough to do anything with yet. Um, diamonds can make the best tools and weapons. We've got some string, which is probably pretty good, and then the spider eyes, which I don't need right now, so we're not going to worry about that. And we made the diamond advancement. All right, what do we got over here? More bones. Excellent. Oh, we have gunpowder. I don't need this stick. And we have a saddle, so now we can go find a horse and tame it and have something to ride around. We also have some golden horse armor. What else do I not need? I don't need this terracotta, so let's take the horse armor over here. More string, more bones, whoops, bring those down here, more gunpowder, gunpowder is what you can use to make TNT, I don't think we need that other horse armor for right now, and, ooh, wow, this is a really good chest, so we've got some iron, we've got a golden apple, we have an emerald, which um, I think we might have talked about in the last episode, is what you use to trade with villagers, and yet another saddle, so we can have two horses, let's see, I really want to take all this stuff with me, I We'll 
the string will take this, add on your regular apple, will take the golden apple. And that should be good. I do want this TNT, but actually wait, I might have some of my inventory. There it is. Yep. And the rest of this. I have some TNT. And I'll be out here. Uh, too many things. I'm also stuck. <laughs> I've dug myself into a hole and I can't get out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll sacrifice a little of this dirt for that. There we go. Um, there's iron here for when I need it, so we'll come back. I'll see you over at base. Okay, so we're still not back because I found some horses. So let's see if we can tame one of these, and all you gotta do is walk up to it, right click, right click. I don't know how to do this. Maybe I don't know how to do this. Uh, maybe I right click if I don't have something in my hand. Here, let's do this. And I should be able to do this. Ah, yes, there we go. So now I'm sitting on and he will throw me off and I will just keep getting back on until he decides that he likes me. Maybe. Nope. We'll get there eventually. Or not. This one is stubborn. I'm gonna spend all this time and he'll probably end up being really slow. Horses have different speeds and different heights that they can jump. This one is being extremely stubborn. And there we go, we got the love hearts. He has accepted me, excellent. So now if I open my inventory, I have these two slots here, so we can put the horse armor on, and we can put a saddle on, and once the saddle is on, now I can control which direction the horse goes, and I was right, not very fast, but that's okay. We have a horse, and we're going to take him home which I'm pretty close to, so I will see you there in a minute. All right, we are back home. My horse is hanging out with the cows because I haven't bothered to make a separate pen. So what we're going to be doing in the rest of the episode today is working on cleaning up this village. Now, Minecraft villages are very useful. Um, they have lots of different things that are beneficial in the game, plus they have villagers, but they're not exactly the prettiest things in the world to look at. So if, what we're going to do is we're going to start working on... Um, modifying these houses a little bit. We're not going to change too much with the shape um, and the structure of them, but we're going to incorporate some of the materials we used in our house to kind of make them a little bit of the same style and make this village look just a little bit nicer since this is kind of the neighborhood that we have moved into. So I'm going to get some materials together and we will get started on this project. Welcome back, everyone. I have been doing a little bit of work gathering some materials and playing around with design ideas. So here is our fairly standard Minecraft house. Fairly boring on the outside, not much to look at. And this is what I have done to the other one that was sitting right here. So as you can see, we've incorporated the, the birch wood uh, in with the oak wood. We have that polished andesite cleaned up the roof, we added the acacia logs for the corners so that we have a very similar design to what we have over there. Obviously not duplicating it, but just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. And if we come inside, I've done, I haven't done much with the interior. There's not much you can do in a three by three space, but I did fill in that floor with the stone brick that we had, added a little chest. This table was a part of the house initially, so I decided to leave that and I added a bed which, as I can see, the sun just went down, so we need to use. Let's go. I can only sleep at night. Looks like it's night to me. The sun went down. Oh, the sun didn't go down. The sun is almost down. Okay. Well, anyway, switched out for the acacia door, and so that was the transformation of this house. So, now that I've kind of played around with that design, we're going to come and we're going to do this one together. Uh, we'll keep a, we'll keep the structure the same. This it's this is a three by three. Um, that actually was originally a two by three interior, and I expanded it just so that it was symmetrical, um, a little bit nicer, a little bit more to work with too. So let's go ahead and sleep here. All right, there we go. All right, and let's get to work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out these stone walls here. I don't like the roof design here, so I'm going to completely redo that. So let's do one, two, three, and you know what, while we're up here, why don't we just take this roof down. Okay. 
All right, so now that that is done, let's come over here and let's finish off the corner so that we kind of have a frame to work with. Actually, I'm gonna do that over there. Two, three. There's that. Um, let's do. Let's go ahead and clean up this floor next. The nice thing about this already being a three by three is we really don't have to do too much with it. And there went my pickaxe. Fortunately, I have backup tools. I came prepared this time. All right, so we've got that cobblestone floor removed somewhere in my inventory. I have stone brick slabs, just to save a little bit on resources. Um, but there are a couple of places we'll want to use. Whoops, that's not where that needs to go. Alright, so there's that. We're gonna fill that in. No. Wow, let's go back to that. Oops, let's do that. There we go. And one, two. Now this we're gonna fill in because the ground actually comes below. So let's actually use the full blocks here. Do that, and then the rest we will go with the slabs. So we should probably fill that in. Alright, and there is that floor done. I'm not going to put the door in yet because I don't want to have to deal with opening and closing it every time we come through. I'm going to go ahead and take these ladders out since we're going to do a similar roof design over here. So we're not going to, we won't have anything to go up to there, so we won't worry about that. Um, all right, so let's do a little bit of variation to the walls so that we have something to work with. So over here, I did birch in the corners, and we had the polished andesite as kind of like a, uh, I don't know what to call this right over the door. Um, I want to call it a mantelpiece, but I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, so let's let's not make these identical. So let's actually go ahead. Let's pull the corners out. That villager is working very industriously over here, gathering and replanting crops. All right, let's see. Um, get that out of my offhand. And so here's this polished hand thing. So let's do... do that and then maybe for the sides let's do let's pull those corners out and replace them with birch let's see how that looks so there's our birch i think that looks okay and then you have you have a little bit of the the design pulling through you have that the little plus shape that goes around obviously we'll have the door there so it will be quite the same but i think that looks kind of nice um, having the consistency around there. So, we will have the back of the house mirror the front. What is with the creepy noises in this game? I'm not quite sure. I don't know that I like the polished andesite right on top of the stone, but we'll leave it for right now. Maybe we'll come in and fill that in with, uh, with dirt and grass later. Right now, let's get this finished. All right, so there is all of that. No idea where that was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from in there. I hope there's not a house in this hill over here. All right, let's grab this stuff up, and you know what? Let's go ahead and put this door down just to get it out of my inventory, which has gotten very full. Okay, there we go. So that is that part done. So now let's put the roof on, and I don't know if I want to do the same roof or I want to do, like, a variation on it. We could turn it sideways. Um, I'll tell you what. These roofs are not exactly hard to make, so let's 
pop up here. Hopefully I have the resources I need. Do I? Let's see. Nope, don't have nearly enough. we do that we're gonna have to clean up the levels above it so let's take now I can't get up here so let's take that out and then I just lost my axe Again. and that might work so let's do that on the other side and see how that looks uh, Don't stare at me while I sleep. That's creepy. Okay. All right. There will be another house very soon, and somebody else can sleep in there. Hello. And now I can't get back up here. Um. Okay, so we need to see if we can fix this. So I wonder if we take this out and this out, and then we do... Nope, don't like that. Okay, so... So, let's... Let's see, so how are we doing here? So we need to do... So let's go back. I think we were gonna do that. And then we'll do that. Temporarily, and then we can put that. There we go. Alright, let's take 
that there. And then take that out and put the slab in there. Now, how does that look? I think I looked at this before. That looks... I'm still not thrilled with it. All right. Um, tell you what, let's do this. Let's try one more thing. Let's take the slab out and let's replace it just with a stair. Normal stair, normal corner. Um, are you like the building inspector or something? I, I kind of need to get up here. Thank you. I don't tell you how to farm. You don't tell me how to build. Yeah, I kind of like that with the birch on the corner. So let's go ahead and do that. And let me know what you guys think. If you don't like it, let me know. And we can go ahead and change it up next time. So let's go ahead and do that. One of the things I wanted to say earlier in the intro and completely slipped my mind was one of the things that is going to um, really kind of drive this series forward is I really want this to be um, uh, supported by comments from you guys. Um, I, I don't make a big fuss about comments on my other videos, but they definitely do help out um, with YouTube's algorithms with suggesting videos to other people. And so I want this to really kind of be a comment-driven series. So be sure to let me know what you guys think um, of, of the builds that we do and if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see me work on and, and bring to... Uh, this little world here. I definitely would love, love to hear your suggestions and, and your feedback. I think this looks pretty good. Um, we had a little bit of variation in the roof. It looks a little bit different, but we still have some of that same style. Now, of course, we have nothing on the interior, so I wonder what we could put in there just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. Let's do, and first of all, I want to fix this path. Let's do that and that. All right, and I'm going to, I have no room in my inventory, do I? not. I don't need these seats. Those. And... <sighs> well, maybe we'll get rid of them. There we go. I can put this crafting bench down because I might want to build a few more things. But let's run back to the house real quick. And let's see what we can do here. Hello, sheep. I've been growing acacia trees in my backyard. All right. site. We're done with that. Uh, we'll put that stone in there. It's not quite where I want that. But, uh, we can combine that. We can put that up there. Inventory management is a very important thing. Something that I have never been good at. Um, okay, we're looking for interior stuff. So I think it definitely needs a bed. I had wool. I have wool. I have two wool. All right, it's not getting a bed for right now because I'm not killing any of the sheep. Um, I don't think I have any more iron. I do not have any more iron. All right. But what I was working on was smelting up some bricks. And from the bricks, we can make a flower pot. So let's do that. And I've been gathering some flowers. I like these blue ones. So let's take one of those. And then what else was I thinking? Um, Let's grab some of this dark oak, and we can turn that into that. I'm not sure that that's quite what we want to go to, because the wood doesn't quite match anything else. And then the other thing I was thinking was to put, like, a little storage chest. I've run out of room in my inventory again. Let's do that. And let's also... Where is it? Where did I go? There it is. Maybe, why don't we put a furnace in there? It'll be like a little bit of an oven that our villagers can have for their houses. So let's let's see what we can do with this. All right, so I, I do want to put a bed in here eventually. So let's leave that for right now. But let's do, let's put the chest there. Let's put this furnace here. And then let's, let's see how this looks. If we were to put that there, it's kind of like a table. Um, I don't like the dark oak in here. So let's do... I'll tell you what, the other house had the... Um, their table was... And if we look at this table, it is, it's a fence post with a 
uh, a trap door on top. However, we can't set anything on top of that. So, this we're going to do more like a shelf. So let's put that there. Actually, I don't really like it there. So what if we put it there? Nah, and then you have that wasted space in the corner. Oh, let's do this. Let's take the furnace out. And let's stick it in the corner. That looks good. We'll put the bed there. And then a flower pot and flower. Um, obviously, we need the bed to really kind of fill this in. So we'll have to save that for the next episode. Okay. And that has... We'll fix that path. All right, there we go. And we'll close that door. So that's two houses down. Now, I think I have gone really long on the time. My last episode was considerably longer than I wanted it to be, and so I'm hoping that I can trim those times down a little bit. So I think this is what we're going to do for today uh, because my intro ran longer than I had intended it. So we've got two spruced-up Minecraft houses, or village houses, um... And then I think for next episode, we will continue working. We'll work on this church. We will work on that library up there. And then I think there's a few more houses that are dotted around. So we will work on cleaning those up next time. So I think that will do it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. Um, and as I was saying earlier, definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this episode, what you think of the builds, um, any suggestions um, that you would have for the other buildings that we have. Um, yep, that's going to do it. If you haven't already, I would encourage you guys to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media, and if you'd like to help support the channel, I would encourage you to consider becoming one of my Patreons. You can find links to all of these sites down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.